Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and in today's video I will do my best to try and answer the question What is the best second star legendary effect for boss fights? Choosing from extra critical damage, faster fire rate or bullets explode? As those are the three most popular currently, the best candidates and it's not actually possible to answer it 100% because the fight inconsistencies, damage registration on server side, but I will do my best to have this practical approach and compare all three. You can see what I'm running here, what are my damage bonuses, and I decided to unequip adrenaline as I will not be stacking it. It's not a maximum full DPS speedrun. The point is not to kill Mr. Air, the point is to be able to observe the damage output I will be getting. And I do intend to use the entire timer, all 12, 25 minutes. We'll be starting with explosive one, then I will be just rotating. Every approach will be next weapon, next weapon. And the goal is to pick up three best of my approaches and then compare to each other with some editing magic to put the half bars next to each other and let you see in maybe some slow motion how those weapons actually perform in practice. From my testing so far, unfortunately explosive is a tricky one, but you will see it. My bet is that the inconsistency with explosive weapon must be somehow related to like damage registration when the damage go in like a quick succession as you know the impact bullet impact damage and explosion damage those are two separate damage to register then that can be it i don't know maybe there is a different reason too but basically here you can see my methodology what i'm doing i'm running back for mr air and i will be just hiding behind some crates and shooting at him it's obviously sometimes he will detect me and maybe kill me, some other times he will not, and I'm using custom server for that, therefore I have zero AP cost. Then if you will see that my AP is not moving at all, that's intentional, I disabled that. But I didn't change anything else related to damage and so on, I just disabled the AP cost for consistency, and that's how it will mainly look like. And I can just keep shooting him and sometimes he kills me, then... I should probably disable his damage as well, then that would be maybe a little bit easier, but now it's the key point in here. When I do respawn, as you can see, air is, is damaged by my approach. But if I wait here up for a little bit, he's fully regenerating, then I can continue the test. I can go back in, swap the weapon, see how it will work. and. That I will be doing for the full duration, this 25 minutes, just rotating the weapons one after another and then I'm picking three of the like most consistent approaches and you will be able to see what is possibly the best pick. What is that? As this is the question that I was asked so many times, therefore Let's take a look on that. Now you can see it in slow motion, all three half bars, and we are shooting. On the screen you can see me shooting with explosive, and half bars are explosive first, crit damage second, faster fire rate third. And here is this funny stuff. You can see that explosive is starting strong. It's doing better than crit damage, but then it changes. Like explosive, somehow it's looked like it's losing damage occasionally, like it being dropped. The health bar is not really registering full. It's hard to explain for me. Uh, something going on there, you can see that. Something is going on there. And uh, clearly, like purely for DPS, the faster fire rate is on the lead. And uh, one bar disappeared for a split second. That was because when I was reloading. L dropped my VATs, but I re-engaged and middle was like delayed by half a, half a second. But the full test is I'm unlo unloading two magazines 
per each weapon. Therefore, faster fire rate stopped now because I finished, but you can see how much more it was doing. Therefore, purely DPS-wise, faster fire rate for sure is a winner about crit damage and bullets explode. Unfortunately, bullet explode was not the best. You can see it's more damage than faster fire rate, but not as much damage as extra crit damage. And when I was comparing the bullet explode effect between other approaches with the same weapon, sometimes it did a little bit better. Like sometimes this bullet explode was closer to crit damage. And now I'm just running this again. You can see this race one more time while I'm talking. Therefore, bullets explode was either the same as extra crit damage or worse than extra crit damage. Purely, I think, because of this damage registration. A start was strong, like, bullet explode started with doing more damage than extra crit damage, as I align all those health bars to start exactly in the same moment, like, they are aligned by the time, then. You can see it real time, it's only server playing tricks when they do not jump in exactly the same moment. And regardless what we want to think about explosive versus crit damage, it's absolutely clear that faster fire rate is a strong winner, like by 20% overall damage output. Even during the reload, the other bars were not able to catch up, then even if you add the time for reloading, still faster fire rate. You will use more bullets, yes, but it will be definitely the highest possible damage output. Then, yeah, that's a kink. That's an unquestionable kink, faster fire rate. But in case of everyday gameplay, I noticed that explosive seems to be like the best for me, the best damage, especially if I need to go and do damage without VATs, then explosive is getting a solid boost as extra crit damage doesn't do anything outside of VATs. And as well, of course, explosive bullets do trigger something like Vampire. Then if you use it on Vampire weapon, that twice as good, twice as good efficiency. And this took me a lot of time to actually test it on Mr. Earl and then play with aligning perfectly those health bars, but I hope it's helpful for you and you will appreciate this little test. I do not regret it because now I know what's the best effect and you know it too. Therefore, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.